Hello everybody, my name is Zupub, and I'm about to do another Artifact 2.0 beta draft, but I also have a pack to open, and I believe it's going to have my first epic cards in them. I think I unlocked all the rares, so this should have epics. Really want to be my friend. No. He just wants me on his <laughs> side, so all I right. won't destroy everything he loves. It looks like these are all still rare, unfortunately. I thought, I, I thought that would be enough. Let's look. So this is my rare cards. I think that might have unlocked all of them. Do you see any twos here? There's one two. So the cover of the night I still need. And that's it. Alright, so next pack. <laughs> Damn, I really thought that was the one. Alright, let's go. So we're going to go right into the draft. No new cards. Let's check out our card collection though while we're waiting. But, so we have all the rare and down. We got all the heroes. I, sh I want to make a tier list. Once I unlock all the epic heroes, I should be ready to make a tier list. Vanessa, I've never found the value. Or Impera. Just can't seem to get them to work. They're just weird, too. These are the two weirdest heroes in the whole set. Everything else uh, <laughs> makes sense. Pugna being bad makes sense to me. That's fine. Just keep Pugna being bad. Lady Ashnu makes sense to me, at least. I think she probably has some interesting strategies. She gives people one health when she dies in the lane. It's like all heroes, though, right? Give your allies... Oh, two health permanently? It's just not very good. <laughs> it's fun, though. I wonder if it works with Rix, where you could, like, double kill. But you don't really want to give Rix health. It's just silly. Anyway. Boys to strike. Looks like I'm too good. What's my rank right now? Yeah, I don't have a deck. I was just messing around. Archon 3. Okay. Look, I won four of my last five. That's pretty good. I think I lost a bunch before. Yeah, I lost four of my five before that. And you can see, I, I'm almost always do black red. I don't know why I didn't pick red here, but I think I was just going mono black and I was like, let's throw a Wrath King in there for the two. That makes sense. And it didn't work. <laughs> wonder if this was a close game. Anyway. Um, yeah, this was my last three games right here. I went two and one. They were close games, too. The Rix is good. I can see how the Rix is good. Nyx is supposedly really good. Here we go. So the first draft against Gooner. All right, my pick first. I like Storm Spirit. I like Sven. I think I like Sven more than Storm Spirit. So we'll take Sven. Storm Spirit's pretty good. He gives you a lot of movement and stuff like that, but his card is kind of weak. It's a ball lightning. It's just kind of unimpressive. Just general movement. It can be good. He, his base attack is really strong. He's not bad. Phantom Lancer's also good. I would go between these two. I think I would edge Phantom Lancer a little bit over Storm Spirit. It's close. Like, Storm Spirit's not bad, though. It's not like, oh no, this won't work. Like, Earthshaker's pretty cool, too. Earthshaker works because of his passive. Whenever I play a blue spell or enchantment from this lane, stun Earthshaker's enemies for one action. That could be really good. It is only one action, though. It's important to remember that. But if you can save it to the end and time it right, it could be good. So he took Phantom Lancer. Yeah, I take Axe here every time. Yeah, he took Axe. Oh my god, what a horrible pick. Jesus. Luna's supposed to be good with Eclipse. I'm not a huge fan of her because she's two and six. Let's just do Winter Wyvern. Oh, Tinker's fantastic. I love Tinker. Tinker's really good. He's like a sniper, but better because he has five attack. He's weak, but he's just good. So Winter Wyvern will keep on deck. I don't. S Winter Wyvern can always play like in the five. Not horrible. PA is probably what we need too. He's going red green. Oh, Ursa. Oh, jeez. I think Ursa's fantastic. I really do. I think Ursa's, not only do I think Ursa's fantastic, but I think Ursa's a better three than the PA. Because I can put Ursa on top of whatever I want. Oh, and I like Sorlacon a lot. More than Keep for sure, okay. So this is easy picks for me. So the way I would play this, right? Do that. I need something for this two spot. So what I might have to do is... When's this? Oh, Tinker's on a three, huh? Hmm. So 
I wonder if I do it like that. Andy, Mage, and Centaur both aren't bad. Oh, he's got to take the Ricks. He's going to take Ricks, right? Yeah. It's too bad I don't have anything weak. So he's got a Ricks in the three. So if he Ricks is in the three... My pick mass. Oh, he didn't Rex. Interesting. So who's this three? Phantom Lancer? I think I can Sven in the two. He has nothing that strong. Alright, let's Sven in the two. We'll try to catch up Phantom Lancer. It's gonna be super hard. Well, Ursa in the three. Sorla count in the four. Tinker in the one. We'll pick a Ugh. Legion? Not horrible. I think I'd rather have Animage than Winter Wyvern. Yeah, there we go. This is working. I like Animage in the five here. This is good. Tinker or Animage could go in the five. I don't think it matters which one. Uh, it really doesn't. Their abilities both come online later. I, I guess I'd rather have control over where the Tinker is. Right? All right, cool. Let's go. Let's see if this works. I can always Ursa in the two if I think something's funny. But I'd like to Ursa right on that Centaur. Because he's going to want a Centaur or Axe down. Oh, I could any mage in the two. No, because the Wrath King could kill me. With the three? But would he Wrath King in the three? Maybe. Okay. So let's Sven right in the mid. Yeah, this is fine. Yep, yeah, on a centaur, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna animate... Oh, I did do it wrong. <laughs> I fucked it up. I was supposed to put the uh, animage down there. It's, it's, this might work. Let's see what he does. Yeah, so he's gonna Wrath King the animage. And then I'm gonna Ursa the axe. This makes sense. This is where I fucked up. He has Death Shield. That was stupid. Let's see if I can fix it. Hip fire, deal three damage. Oh yeah, perfect. We can hip fire him. <laughs> We're just gonna hip hip fire the Wrath King. He's gonna lose his death shield. It's too bad I can't uh, save any mage. Oh, Temple of War is sick. Is that better? No, it's not because that doesn't kill the Wrath King. Fuck. Axe grows stronger by the minute. Okay, well this makes it a little easier. So we could assault ladder. This is so stupid. <laughs> I really fucked this up. All right, the other ones make sense at least. Let's do Temple of War here, the Ursa. Probably should have done with this fan, but this is cool. We'll just put the courier down, it doesn't matter. Alright, I can't believe I made that bonehead mistake. We can come back from it though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, he lost his death shield. That's cool. <laughs> Fuck that up so bad. Alright, get gold. Whenever I'm under 10 gold in the first round, I always get gold. Um, let's just sword lock on here. So the benefit to this is that I will be doing more damage than the Wrath King. So at least there's something. But the Drow's gonna get down. We can put the Tinker or the Animage right on the Drow too. That's good. Alright. So we're gonna activate Temple of War. We have no four cost thing, which is good. So let's just activate Temple of War right away. That's fine. We can still Temple of War. Even though we're silent. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and Axe is losing all his armor. I'm not dying here. You can see it's going really good for me. I still have three mana. Death effect draw a card. This isn't bad either. I could probably just... Assault ladders is probably the best thing to do right here. I could hit fire to kill... No, I can't. This gives those give me quick cast, but this doesn't really help me. All right, so let's do assault ladders here. Get it from the draw. All right, so now we're doing seven damage to tower. That's good. 
We have one mana, so we have nothing else we can do. Oh, but I keep yes, initiative. That's cool. This will serve. All right, you're doing good. I definitely want to put something right on the drow and then cast the uh, Temple of War on him. <laughs> Grievals all have one regeneration. All right, so this isn't going pretty. This isn't going horrible. The only thing that's pissing me off is this Wrath King. Other than that, we're doing good. Because what I can do now... I yeah. Uh, four staff's not horrible. 18 gold. We could upgrade still have 15. Let's do that. There we go. Cleave. Four cleave, yes. Okay, cleave's gonna be great this round, and I'll show you why. We're gonna kill everything here. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out. So, we're gonna tinker. How much damage? Three damage? Alright, perfect. We'll tinker in the wing here. We'll anti-mage so we can hit the centaur, and we'll anti-mage right on the drow. And we're gonna give uh, anti-mage the cleave sword after we use... Temple of War, right? Or Red Mist Pillager? No. Maybe we don't, no, let's do the, yeah, let's do this. All right, now it's crushing everything. And then we'll, well, we can give it the uh, Blade of Vigil after. It'll still have one armor and three health, which is good. It's just a good use of mana. See, it's silence, it doesn't matter. All right, so God Strength caster gains. Oh, so we want to cast this on Sven, God Strength. And then we're going to activate Tinker's laser on the Centaur. So Centaur's dead. Oh, I love the look He's on going great. Hooray. We're overcoming our mistakes here. So he has Ravage next turn. We do want to move that uh, this guy, Sorlar Khan. Okay. All right, so let's give the anti-mage cleave. There we go. Cool, so everything in this lane is gonna die. I could just proceed to combat, but I also have Acolyte of the Forbidden Gate. So I'm gonna cast that here because I have the tower thingy? I guess that makes sense. Oh, he's gonna have Ravage. Let's not do it there then, because he's gonna have Ravage next turn. I'd just rather do it here. I get more damage that way. All right. Cool, no actions. Auto pass me. Awesome. So I wiped this one. That one really good. That's why this tower Temple of War, I think, is sick. I almost want to put the Sven over here. But Sven's gonna be strong on its own. Oh, another cleave? Yeah, that could be really good on this Sorlog con. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. I think it even kills the Tide Hunter. I wish I could heal. Oh, I should have got something to heal it. No, I didn't really have it. That's cool. All right, so Sven, we can put here to kill the creep. And I bet you he might put the axe around here. Yep. So yeah, I think we want to put the blade. Oh, he's going to stun the Sorlock on anyway. Right? Let's see what happens. All right. Got the enchant tower card. He's down to the three. So deal damage to a unit e and damage in neighbors mana missing. <laughs> deal damage equal to the mana missing to its to it and its neighbors. Deal three damage. I'm trying to figure out what to do here. Red Mist Pillager might be good. Like right here. God strength. That would be really good on the Sven. Alright, let's uh Oh, Slumbering. Stun Slumbering Brute unless it neighbors a hero. Slumbering Brute taunts. Oh, perfect. Oh, I can't do it there. That was close. Okay, this is actually really good here. Let's do the cleave on the Sorlacon first. I, I think the Slumbering Brute right here is actually really great. Doing 8 damage here, bringing it down to 10. It's a pretty good play. And then just having the slumber no, right there. Okay, so you ravage. We knew that was coming. Or no, we can't do it over here. I was gonna say slumber brute over there. He's down to two mana. I could mana void him, but it would only do five damage. Looks like that solar count's done. It's okay. I could still god strength the Sven. But I feel like that's a good like ace in the hole. Let's just do the, the slumbering brute right here. 
There we go. So now we're doing 20 damage to the tower. At least you tried to put up a fight. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, it's fine. The I'm just gonna. I'm leaving this back. lane totally alone. The first lane, even though my ladder is here, that's fine. We're just gonna. We're gonna put God's strength on the Sven. Look, we got 10 and 15 here. He's got 15, 19, so he's not far behind. But I feel like he doesn't have a lot of damage here. Gauche, I feel like gets me there. How much gold do I have? Three. Never mind. <laughs> Four gold. Yeah, once I kill this tower, I can TP stuff over here. You are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Thanks, Strauss. Oh, March of the Machines. Perfect. All right, so we can anti-mage over here and then March of the Machines. Or do we just March of the Machines here and then anti-mage over there? Okay, let's do that. March of Machines here. And then next turn, I could send either Sorlock or Tinker over here and armor them up after I anti-mage over here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'll animate right here. So March of the Machines does two damage to the enemy tower in each enemy unit. At the round start. So next turn it'll do it. <laughs> you don't want to have that here. Alright, so now we animage over here. So even if I do eight now, that's fine, because March of the Machines will do two damage at the round start next turn. I'm willing to die for my It's fine. Are you? How is that eight damage? Well, I don't understand how that taunted. Oh, the round start. Okay. Maybe that's why. I missed that part. That's good, actually. All right, let's go. I'm just gonna pass, we'll keep initiative. We don't have any plays anyway. Cool. The only thing that I can do is Temple of War. That's why I didn't let me pass there, because of the Temple of War. I was trying to figure that out. Like, what can I do? <laughs> All right, cool. So now, he is actually doing really good. So we're gonna have to do some smart deploy here. Broadsword would have been good. Let's get the gold. Okie dokie. So. We can give up on this lane. We can win this lane. And then we'll tinker in this lane. What is this guy? For each enemy. Oh god, he's gonna get stronger. That's actually fine. We're just trying to block the damage. And then Sorlokan. We're ignoring this lane. We're just the next highest damage, right? We could do the creep. Oh, and both these guys are going to get ar Or one of them is going to get armor. So we'll just... Oh, no, I see. This one doesn't want the armor. Oh, but this will kill this because of the cleave. But that'll kill it here, too. This will kill more, I think. Okay, let's try this. There we go. See, this is getting eight. March of the Machines does damage at the start. And then we'll, uh, we have initiative, so we're going to laser the centaur. There, now you can see we're winning this lane. Now we're winning the game, basically, because he's winning this lane right here. But we're doing 12 damage in the middle here, and then we do 8 damage over here. But we need more removal. Oh, we can hit fire the drought next, next play. And that'll do, like, six more damage, five more. And then we can still, uh, Temple of War the Tinker. Which won't do much, but... We could give this minus three attack Knives in the Dark. Might be a good play. It's just gonna guarantee us more damage, but that's, like, an option we have. Or we can Mana Void if he does something huge here. God Strength. All right, so this also gives us three more damage on tower. Bounce all items from caster and the enemy blocking them. They battle each other. Oh, I could just do that. Okay, so let's... Throwdown's better, huh? But hip fire, I keep... 
uh, objective. All right, whatever. Let's just throw down. Oh, I can only throw down there. But I do need to throw down there, huh? All right, so let's hit fire the drill. Never had a chance. Oh, I gave up. I had one more play. All right, GG, we did it. Even though I messed up the beginning there. Still managed to make that work. Sweet. Archon 4, let's go. Oof. GG. Oof. That was a good game. Holy moly. Holy moly. Thank you! <laughs> Right, I'm in another queue. I'll have another pack next game, even win or lose. I should just forfeit right away so I get the 200 EXP. I don't know if that's how it works. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. I'm concerned about my rank. I want to get it up. We're winning now. Five of my last six. That's good. We're doing it. 89%. I think around level 46 you get all of them for some reason. Because, like, if you only look at the epics... There you go. These are all the epics. It's really not that many cards. It's, like, barely two of each hero. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's Gunnar again. It's going to stream snipe me now. Lena's supposed to be really powerful. I play with her some. I take sword luck on here, I think, all day. Oh, and an Ursa? Jeez. Give me that Ursa. I think Ursa's OP. I could PA here. I don't have a problem PA with these against Keith. I think he's going to take the PA. Oh, wow. I'll take the PA. Shadow Fiend 2 or Axe? Ooh, that's a close one. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. That's a close one. I don't like Shadow Fiend against Red. Not like this. I think I just take the axe. Tiny? I'll take Tiny. He's gonna take Tiny for sure. Tiny's a great red hero. For an all red deck too, which just looks like what he's going for. Maybe he likes Skyra. That's not even my pick anyway. I don't get a pick at the Tiny. Bounty Hunter's pretty good. I like the Bounty Hunter. You should probably jam the Bounty Hunter. Tidehunter's pretty good, too. I'll take Bounty. Oh, Tinker. Tinker for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I gotta think about value here. Do I just rock all black and cut axe? That's what I'm doing. Here's the dealio. Well, Bounty Hunter in the four. PA in the three. Ursa in the two. Tinker in the one. Sorlacon in the five. Or Sorla kind of the one, one in RNG against the Legion. That sounds like the most fun. And then Tinker here. Nah, that's okay. We could just Tinker here because that kills the Legion. Okay. Cool. Ursa in the two because that's not getting to die. Awesome. All right, this works pretty good. This works good. I like this deck. I don't like running PA and Bounty Hunter, but I have enough damage, I think, with my base damage. So it should be good. Okay, so let's do this correctly this time. So Tinker's good anywhere. I'd rather get him through though, I think. I'm not sure, I think I'd rather be aggressive and let him damage, if I were to guess. If I were to have my way. I would just want him to Legion here or here. He might just uh, keef. Nope, yeah, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna Ursa here. And then I'm gonna kill whatever he puts down with the PA. It doesn't matter where I put this, huh? Oh, cause of timber. Yeah, so I wanna put it here cause of timber. Yeah, so if he wants to fight me, which he doesn't, uh, he has to put timber right here, which will make him stretch really far as all. Well. And then I kill the Keith. Cool. Awesome. So yeah, he didn't even go for it, which is good, because I'm doing more damage. So you can see 5-5, five, five, and I'm winning the fight. 
He's doing 5-4, but I'm winning the fight. So that worked out pretty good. Now I can Bounty Hunter I next turn. The bull snake high. Bounty Hunter, how much health does he have? Five? I think I put the Bounty Hunter on the timber. Oh, but he doesn't kill the timber. All right, we'll see. Assault ladders. Enemy units with three or less health are feeble. Right, 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 right. So we probably want to assault ladders. Move caster to an unblocked enemy. Oh. Almost. Or, oh, I could do that with the bounty hunter, maybe. On the on the timber saw. Okay. Each enemy scheme. Take one damage. Interesting as well. Let's do assault ladders right in the middle to be aggressive. That just does more damage to the tower, and it's an aggressive play, which is good. Yeah. Alright, we'll Relentless Pursuit next turn. We'll Courier. And Relentless Pursuit next turn, right? Yeah. Alright, cool. How far can you move? In another lane. Oh, good thing I'm reading here. Oh, so I don't get a bounty on it? Hmm. This is an interesting play. Oh, so I won't get the damage unless I have the bounty. Shit. I could just do four staff. I think Demolishing Warhammer is the play here. Right, let's do that. It's a great card. Alright, so Bounty Hunter... Shit. Did I just put it on the Legion? No, that doesn't seem right. I think we're just going to play it in the wing over here with the Ursa. Maybe just maybe he'll put the bristle back there now. I know this is a strange play, but I think it's the right play. Oh, maybe I could have done this on it. Board Strider, I think I want to get out. Oh, or Pillager. Ugly do Vandal. 3 2, 3 2, but 5 damage to tower. You can move it around. Horde Strider. I think I might Horde Strider right here. How far can you move it? Move to an empty slot? Yeah, just Horde Strider right here. I don't like that play. I could Demolishing Warhammer or something. Let's see them hurt me now. All right, let's put this on the Ursa, because no one's going to want to fight the Ursa. And if they do, they're going to get fucked up. Ready Even that key. So it's doing 14 damage to this tower. Okay. I'm okay with that. What is he down to two? And then I'm going to Ogly do Van... No. Yeah, Horde Strider. We're going to Horde Strider right here. This is the most aggressive play I think I can make. Although nerfing his gold would be kind of interesting. But this is fine. I like this play. Look how much damage. I'm doing 10 damage here, 12 damage here. You wild board my Tinker? Oh, because it kills it. Okay. That's a good play. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out the logic there. Now I get it. Alright, so I got two to deploy this turn. Four staff seems good, but let's get the gold. Okay, so Sorla will Sorlacon no, will Sorlacon next to the Ursa. We'll PA on the Legion. We'll ignore the bristle over here. Seems fine. We could just coop to grow the Legion as well. We have initiative. Seems like it might be, might be a good play. Yeah, let's check it out. Or I could just coup de gras this stupid timber saw right now. Also seems like a good play. So basically if I do that, I have one play. Back for more. Deploy one of your heroes at random from your fountain to the first empty position. I could put the tinker right on the timber. The <laughs> coup de gras. Yeah. I think coup de gras is the best play here. So let's do coup de gras right on the timber. That way we, we're like pretty much guaranteed to win this third lane. 
Then we can just worry about the rest. I feel like that makes the most sense. I'm still killing the Legion. He could try to fix that if he wants. Yeah. See ya, Timber. You are not my equal. There we go. So I'm killing this round. Unless he can move something over here, which I don't think he can. So I'll get a TP. I can TP Ursa over to the mid next lane. And see if he can fix it. Yeah, so I he's fixing the Legion. Oh, the Legion still dies. Oh, no. Does he have fixing? What does this do? Deal three damage to an enemy tower. Oh, God. <laughs> it's a disaster. So, yeah, I can double deploy in this lane next turn. Which is awesome. Whatever you can build, the nether can destroy. Yeah, this is going good. This legion's going to be dead. PA's going to be dead, but that's fine. It's going to open up this lane. It's fine. Hey, he's winning this first lane. That's fine. We're definitely getting him in a race there. We already won the third lane here. See ya. We got 30 gold now. 31 gold. He has 26 gold. We got to think about upgrading, maybe. But we want anything that deals damage, basically. Oh, yeah. Upgrade for 3 for 30. Yeah, let's do that. Infernal Amulet. Ground start. Deal 1 piercing damage to adjacent enemies. That might not be the worst thing in the world for me in the mid, but I need things that do damage. Four staff seems good then. All right, let's get this amulet. Let's see. Maybe that'll help me open up space in the middle next round. All right, well, bounty hunter. Ah, he gave up. Awesome. All right, two in a row. Let's go. And it looks like we'll be able to open our pack now with our epic cards. Right, let's check it out. Epic. There they are, Epic. Oh, we got Nyx. So right. devout are the priests in their faith that if a suitable sacrifice cannot be found to please the twins, they are willing to offer themselves instead. Say this well, hero. willing is relative. Some try to make a run for it and are tied down screaming. But generally, they're <laughs> all on board. All right, Jalixa from the card fun. So I got 10 new cards that'll be implemented into draft now. Nyx is interesting because I saw a tier list on the Reddit and that put Nyx as a high tier and I've seen a lot of conversation about Nyx being high. I love playing black. I just don't play Nyx, and I don't know, even know what it does. So it looks like 3-4, activate 3, choose an enemy in any lane, and move Nyx Assassin across from it. Okay. Nyx Assassin sneak attacks, sneak attacks the new build, unit building, blocking it with plus 3 attack. What does it, it even mean, a sneak attack? Blocking it with three attack. What does that mean? <laughs> Choose an enemy in any lane and move Nyx Assassin across from it. Okay, I get that. Nyx Assassin sneak attacks the new enemy unit, blocking it with three attack. So it just pings it for three? Why does it say three attack? Is it the base attack? That's how, oh, I guess we'll figure it out. And then it's card, Spike Carapace, choose caster. When taking damage this turn, reflect damage back. Stun its source until its next combat, then purge enemy effects from this unit. All right, at least I know how Dota works, so I can imagine Nyx doing its <laughs> Carapace spikes. Stun its source. Stun its source. What? When taking damage this turn, reflect damage. Oh, I see. It's source from the damage. I get it. Seems pretty cool. Um, perfect. And we got a bunch of new cards and everything. Ramp bolt. That's just still a gold card. Gold card. Alright, so this is where the purple started. A missionary of the quorum. Give other allies two attack, two health permanently. The thing is you get this out in turn six, but then you can just keep pump pumping everything out. This is a great card. Pumping everything up in the lead. Mulch. Root an enemy and give it 4 decay. So here's the thing. Now that I'm starting to get rarer cards, I think green and blue are going to start becoming a lot more viable because those cards are much better in the later rankings usually. 
So I might need to start picking more uh, blue and green because of that. And I haven't really been doing that recently because before I only had like the common and you know, the uncommon cards and I was unlocking them all. So we'll do one more game here. Maybe a few more, who knows, I'm feeling it. Oh God, hell yeah. I will take either of these cards. I have a much higher ceiling on Bloodseeker than most. Lena might be really good for the reasons we talked about just now. I need more water. I'm gonna grab water after my next two picks. Cause he's gonna have two picks. So I'm gonna fill this cup with water. You got the Lena. All right, let's rock our Ursa. Oh, Nyx too? Sure. All right, let's do it. I'll be right back. So I think Nyx is supposed to be a five. Oh, wait, Prelix and Lena. This is what I like to see. So Prelix does the creep thing where he switches creeps over and gets mega creeps. Does that creep thing. Calculon. his pick. <laughs> okay, Lich. I think against a weak team, I Legion. A stronger team, I would Sorlacon, because she, the way I play Sorla is evasive. Here I'm happy taking a Legion. Ooh. Timber's great. Bounty Hunter's great. I'm going to take Bounty. I like Bounty in the four, not in the three. I like Bounty to have control over the whole board, rather than just one thing. Or Ursa is good against anything, especially Squishy Team. So I could Ursa in the two or the three. I could Legion in the one or the two. I wouldn't Legion in the three, even though Legion in the three would work. But we could maybe, we'll see. We'll see what he picks with the rest too. Oh, it's still my pick? No, it's not. I think he Luna's here. I don't see how he passes up the Luna. And I would love him to take the Luna. That's why I'm wondering, like, do you try to take the Timber here and cut the Lich, maybe? Because Lich is such a hard play with a support and a blue deck, I think. You need, like, something beefy. I would assume, is what he was thinking. You know what I'm saying, Calculus? <laughs> That's right, Bender had something to say to you, Cal <laughs> Calculon. Wasn't that Calcutron? I guess not. I guess it was Calculon. Alright, so we can put something in the one. We could put something in the two. We could put some. We really have a lot of flexibility. These heroes can kind of all slide around, except for the Nyx. I don't think I'm putting the Nyx anywhere else. Ba -ba 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 -ba. You know what I'm saying? Sniper and a Keith. Neither of those I really want. I guess I would take the Keith if I had to choose between the two, just because Sniper is more of a five. And Keith could I one or four. Or I could kind of mix them in the mix. I haven't played Keith in a while. I right, got Necro. Wow, he's going all out support. This is crazy. All right, let's do um, Keith, Axe, and PA. Wow. Okay, let's think about this. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I don't love the PA. I like Axe here a lot. It's because they're so squishy. So let's Keith. Keith isn't great in this game. Axe is great. PA isn't needed. PA would kill everything and that's fantastic. But Axe, I think, gives us what we need. I'm debating it in my head. Oh, I'll try this play. A PA in the two. Here, I'll show you. This is a play I've been picking up. So you can PA in the two and Ursa in the three. And the reasoning is, 
I'll, I'll kind of show you how it plays out. Hopefully I don't forget again and then play it differently because it's untraditional. Because normally you'd Urs in the two and then PA in the three, but if you do it this way, PA still wins the fight against any of them. Yeah, you pick the axe. Yeah, play the axe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liking this. He's, he's ordering him. Yeah, we got this. Okay. So we're gonna Legion now. Maybe he'll Axe or something right in the middle. No, Elena, that's fine. We're gonna Ursa. Oh, he's gonna ping the creep. We're gonna Ursa. Yeah. So we're gonna PA first. Don't fuck it up. We're gonna PA now. He's gonna axe right now. Watch. Axe. No, he necroed. And the creep lane. Okay, and we're just gonna Ursa. We could Ursa right on it, huh? Don't hate it. Let's do it. Oh yeah, let's Ursa right on it. We'll chase it. Let's try it out. <laughs> I brought shame to my people. Oh, duel. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Oops, awesome possum. All right, let's duel Legion on Lena. Perfect. Good game. <laughs> we win. That was awesome. What more can we ask for here? Lena's dead. See ya. I got another attack here. Necro's kind of screwed, I think. You play, end up using the axe, huh? He's doing three colors. That's crazy. Chant tower. Deal one damage to both towers per charge and add a charge. That's such a weird card. I could do it now, though, just for aggro. Such a weird card. Could do it here. It's just going to be good to be aggressive, I think. So let's just do it. The idea is he has less attack, I have more attack, and I'm trying to be aggressive. So it's this is aggressive. Yeah, it's all according to plan. And we have nothing else to do, so it's not like we're making a decision over something else. Temple of War, okay. I can respect Temple of War. So if he tries to activate his axe, he's going to die against me. I wonder if that's what he's thinking here. Not unless he activates it. Gank. All right, so I can just gank the axe too. That'll kill it. Demolishing Warhammer is really aggressive, but Stonehall Cloak might be good after the axe or on the Ursa here. Or Healing Blade is also nice and a combination of those things. Ooh, this is a tough pick. Um, I think I'll go Healing Blade because I can heal the Ursa and get it more attack. Let's rock that. All right, deal damage equal to its missing health. Yep, we did good there. And then we can bounty hunter right on the axe. That doesn't seem like a horrible play because we're, we were going to gank it anyway. I think I do this and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be fine. <laughs> we're being kind of silly here, but I think this works. We'll see if I get screwed. So I'm going to healing blade on the Ursa right away. Because it's missing health is only three. Oh. And I got duel? You kidding me? Thank you. Oh, we could just duel the Necro right away if we get the chance. No, we can't. Well, we can Healing Blade it and duel it. We also have gank. Wow, this is... We got really nice cards. I'm happy with my deck. Yeah, we're going to gank. We're going to Healing Blade and gank. And we'll save duel. Or do we healing blade and duel? If he activates his axe, he's dead. He just dies. But if he does this Temple of War and he gets to attack. Death Pulse, okay. So I could gank it? No. Whenever allied unit battles damage, give them. What? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Alright, let's healing blade the Ursa. See, it, it pinged me to try to kill it. Now I'm full health. Yeah, 
you're screwed now. All right, so now I have still have four mana, so I can gank the axe. If he tries to activate his, yeah, there we go. So he's Temple of Warring it. It's great that you believe you could survive this. <laughs> All right, we can just veteran instead of dueling, because dueling no longer. Oh, we have to duel with the Legion. Oh no, I'm saying with the gank. Caster battles a unit in any lane. Gee up. Oh. I could just kill like the Lich. Okay, let's just do that. Oh no, but then I'll die if he uses his active. Okay, okay, I think that's up. Alright, well gank. No, that'll double kill me. Shit. 15 seconds remaining. All right, we're doing veterans insight over here. Then we'll decide. Yeah. I know that's crazy. But it's going to help buff up the Ursa. And these guys are kind of fucked. It's basically what's happened here. I fucked this up because of this temple. And he got plus two, plus one, plus three. So PA lives, yeah, yeah. So see, that's the best way to do it, because now my PA is still there. I did good not overreacting, because it wouldn't have made the situation any better to gank him or whatever, because they were already battling. So it would have, it wasn't any good. Yeah, I think he's a little confused too. He's like, wait. <laughs> and now the Earth is going to get Veteran's Insight. Give us your lives for my sorceries. Awesome. I'll remember this. Doesn't help you. Why'd you do that? I don't think that helped him. Awesome. Cool. So look, all my heroes are alive. All he has is the Lich. Yeah, Stone Hulk Cloak on the Ursa seems right. I wish I could move it though. That's okay. It's in a weird spot. Uh, maybe we just get Demolishing Warhammer. Oh, we could probably get both. Oh, yeah. Healing Blade too. Didn't I already do that on you, though? Yeah. So, I basically, it doesn't really make sense to do it again. Demolishing Warhammer is good. Let's do it. Oh, I could have done it on the PA. That's okay. So, we have the Nyx. We could put the Nyx, like, in the middle. And move it around, I guess. Yeah. See how it goes. Choose caster. When taking damage this turn, reflect damage back. Okay. We could just stonehole cloak the PA. Do that first, just in case he has like a ping or something. My prey doesn't have a chance. <laughs> and then we can nix the Skywrath. Oh, we could just duel the Skywrath. All right, he has Lingua Blade. That's fine. So now we're just gonna duel the Skywrath. Right? Yeah. So I give Legion more attack. So now we want a Demolishing Warhammer or something, but I think I want a Nyx on the Lich. Okay, give Luna basic equipment. That's a good play. So we can still spike Carapace and Lich over, or, uh, oh, or gank. No, 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 I think what you do is this. Spike Carapace. We'll see how this works. If he does something here. Oh, or we could do it over here. I think we do it on the Lena, because it'll reflect any damage, right? Let's see how it works. <laughs> yeah, 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 let's just see. We gotta learn. There we go. Minus seven. Awesome. Attack and then reflective damage minus four. 
Nyx isn't taking anything. Perfect. No, that's not going to help you. Because it's all reflected. Good try. That would have been that would have been sick if it worked, but that's not how that works because it's the source. Remember how we read the card and said all the damage from the source? That was it right there. All right, so let's get. I don't like any of this. Let's just upgrade the shop. Oh, Warhorn was sick. I'll get Healing Blade if we have to choose something. Bounty Hunter we can put on the Lich. He's gonna try to use his ability. Guess I'm okay with that. The grave suits you. All right. So do we? What do we coop to grow here? The axe. I think we just coop to grow the axe. We could gank something. Should cast our battles unit in any lane. I could just battle this lich right now. That seems like a good play. Yeah, let's just do it. See ya. All right, so Lich is dead. Looks like Nyx is about to die. I still have three mana. Bup, bup, bup. Bup, bup, bup. I have you right where I <laughs> want you. Oh yeah? Get one gold for every 10 gold in your bank. Doesn't seem like a bad card. All right, let's uh, demolishing Warhammer the bounty hunter. It's kind of counterintuitive, but it's fine. Makes him a threat over here. Now he's doing a lot of damage to the tower. I wonder if this counts as battle damage. See, it's gotten one armor from veterans insight, one attack from veterans insight. Sitting there getting stronger. But we'll see from here if it gets more from Veterans Insight. Already got, Bounty Hunter already got a armor just from that battle right there. Yeah, it's going pretty good because he's having a hard time to get damage on my tower. And look, my bitter enemies is just increasing ramp over here like we were talking yes. about before. Comes for them. Only blade. All right, so let's thieving over here. Just trying to increase the damage in this lane, and then we'll reptile investment somewhere. It doesn't matter where. Probably just in the middle to spread up our. Tower improvement seems like a decent strategy. <laughs> so we have Coup de Gras too. That's going to probably be a big play. Coup de Gras. Coup de Grace. What you got, buddy? You must have a lot of options. Running out of time. Okay. Armor Master. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, I can't do it in the middle. Okay. So we'll just do it. Where do we do it? Here? Where? Maybe it protects it somehow. I don't know. If it's random. Because I do like the bitter enemies. Alright, so that just gives me a little bit more gold. So he has two mana this turn, so he has one more play. This feels fine. I'm just taking so few damage. Like, all the damage is being produced from bitter enemies, and I'm doing 11 damage over here. There we go, he passed, sweet. No actions, combat phase, let's go. Right, so we won this lane. I think I just keep putting shit over here. Oh, perfect. Warhorn. Hell yeah. Um, Yeah, let's just buy Warhorn. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Warhorn in this lane is, like, devastating. 
Let's put it on the healing on the Ursa. Um, we could PA on the axe. We could PA over here. I think this is the play. We PA just right here. We Warhorn over here. So PA right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Watch this shit. We're gonna Coupe de Gras the Lena, I think. Is Sky, Skywrath better? Eh. Right? Yeah, we Coupe de Gras the Lena. Lena's kind of weird and good right now. And that opens up a lot of damage to tower. Axe doesn't matter. He might win this lane, and that's fine. Um, we're going to win this one next turn. We could almost do it this turn, huh? Not quite, though. So in combat, it's going to deal the damage to the towers next turn. So that's interesting. It's not really going to affect anything, because this is third lane. Huh. It's the time to strike. Okay, so we got all the armor. I still have Coupe de Gras. So I think the idea here... Oh, he still has initiative after this? That's pretty cool. I never realized that. Concussive Shot gives you initiative. Ooh, so he probably can get rid of my Bounty Hunter. But I can still Coupe de Gras from any lane. So I can still Coupe de Gras the Lena, but that just won't open up the damage anymore. But that's okay. Oh, overpower. Uh, that's a pretty good play. So do we still Coupe de Gras the Lena? That's the question. Hmm. Oh, this is only a play effect. That's good to know, too. We could overpower just to do damage. To the tower. Doesn't seem like a horrible play. All right, let's warhorn this guy. No, it's such a bad play right now. Healing blade, maybe? No. Warhorn, no. Fifteen seconds remaining. It's just Grievel here. Got a random Grievel. And we'll get Pillager if we play this here. Oh, this is actually good. Then we can Healing Blade the PA to kill this tower next turn. And that gives us TP, which could let us move the Ursa on the second tower next turn to kill it. Seems like an okay play. This gives me an objective here. Oh. Let's see how that helps. So we're going to Healing Blade it anyway. Oh, it kills the creep. I get it. I can still Thieving Greville though, so let's Healing Blade. Yeah, he's probably no doing that to kill me anyway. Well, cool, now we're doing 11 damage and we can still Thieving Greville and Coupe de Gras after. So let's consider doing the Coupe de Gras. Or just the Overpower maybe, and this lane is good enough aggro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's Thieving Greville here. And that'll give me Pillage as well, lower his gold. Alright, he has no mana. He does have an item play. Let's overpower here. And then we can still do the Warhorn. Yeah. And if we Warhorn, that'll at least get this Grievel more attack. I think allies, Ursa is an ally right now. Yeah, Ursa is an ally. So this is 14 damage. That's good. And it does three more damage to Skywrath. And we can Coupe de Gras next turn. So this should allow us to open up a lot of space next turn. Because this is going to be the first lane. Cool. That went really good. But now this is the lane to be. Another Warhorn? Sure. Seems good. Alright. Hero deployment. So I think we just stick everything in this first lane. And then we Coupe de Gras something. Right? Seems like the play. All right, I'm just worried he's gonna. Oh, uh, he's gonna try to lich bounce me. That's fine. We'll just fill it with creeps. <laughs> he's definitely gonna lich bounce me here. God. Maybe I can. No, he's not gonna let me. 
Let's try. Oh, we didn't put the lich there. Why? He must not have lich bounce. We got another thieving grievel. Is that really what I drew? <laughs> womp womp. Does he have a way to stop me? So who do we coop to grow here? The Lich? No. I think we Warhammer the Legion. Yeah, I'm gonna do the, his active against the Skywrath right now. I'm just gonna active. It's over, right? Why the 1,000 cuts PA? That's not going to help you. <laughs> right, let's Warhorn the Legion. Alright, that does a I'm lot more damage. Yeah, we're all ready to fight. Dark times are coming. Okay. Let's activate the Nyx, right? So I can sort of that. So I think it does its base attack. Like it says with three attack, but it's really its base attack. I think that's what it's trying to say. This word is so strange. Just say attack, but they don't actually attack, I guess. Anyway, it looks like we won this. He has no mana, too. So all he has is an item play, which it's not logical that he could stop me. Right? No. I really thought he had like a Nyx play or something. Anyway, it looks like GG. Moving on up. Yeah? Okay. Press the win. Sweet. I will press press the win. All right, GG. Perfect. Awesome. All right, cool. Let's see if we get another pack. Am I up? Am I upper rank? Uh, Urkon five. I think that was upper rank too. Dude, should I do one more? One more? What time is it? Man, I'm tired. I'm going to call it. All right, guys. This was a lot of fun. Make sure to like and subscribe if you made it this far. I'll be doing a lot more Artifact 2.0 gameplay videos. Appreciate you hanging out. Please make sure to let me know in the comments what you thought of the game. I appreciate all of your feedback. I'm pretty new to YouTube, so appreciate you guys very much. Thank you.